Hello, this is Fensanta and I work as a guide in Lorca Taller de Miami. This is the Turin Department of the Lorca. Did you know that the most common way to besiege the enemy and get them to surrender was to neutralize the outside water supply? People became besieged in the castle of Lorca for four long years at the end of the 13th century. The only way to survive inside was thanks to the sisters called Aljibes. The word Aljibe comes from the Arabic word al -jub, that means cistern or water well, mainly rainwater. It was generally covered with a half barrel or pointed bolt. In the fortress of Lorca, it is known the existence of at least nine cisterns built for storing water, essential for surviving. These are usually located in parades or attached to tower walls so that the water falling at the terrace and ramparts reach then through channels camouflaged in the walls or tower to a decanting pool. In fact, the architectural treaties indicate the need for the construction of a cistern on the ground floor of towers of any fortification. This happens in Lorca because both towers, Alfonsina and Espolon, have cisterns on the ground floor or rounded places. The materials used were normally masonry and bricks. So we can also find well-crafted stone in the Espolon Tower. Inside, we can see red hydraulic cladding because of its composition, which comes from clayey texture iron oxide called al -magre, very good for waterproofing. These cisterns preserve a very curious detail, a carved stone lion head made for the water access from the top or from the outside through pipes. The romanization with water networks from far dams to towns gave a better quality of life that comes from the proximity of water. It is appreciated the continuity of this tradition enriched by Arabic experience. With the Islamic occupation, it is recovered this complex world and the admiration about water. From Muslim period, one of the most important aljibe of the fortress is the aljibe grande, the big system. It was built possibly at the end of 12th or the beginning of 13th century. It had 550,000 liters capacity and a rectangular floor. And it is divided into eight naves covered by borer bolts. There are also luminarias, a hole in the roof made by water carriers in order to get in water and spread it to people. Also, private ways to collect water existed in the fortress. In the Yerri, inside of the castle, some of the archaeological works have found that there were houses which had big vessels or small tanks to daily supply for animals and people. And this was the story of today. Remember that our castle and museums are open for you. A big virtual hug and see you soon! If you liked this video, you can do three things. One, subscribe to our YouTube channel Lorca Taller del Tiempo. Two, share it on your social networks with your friends and family. And three, subscribe to our newsletter on the lorcatallerdeltiempo.com website and find out about all the activities we have prepared for you.